All right, got another TWAB, and this one's pretty cool. And you already saw it in the title, and it's not clickbait, I swear. So uh, let's just go and read it like a normal person should. Accessibility is something Bungie has been trying to improve more recently with button mapping for console, full auto trigger system being applied to basically any legendary weapon you can, stuff like that. Well, now you will potentially be able to make every weapon in the game full auto, which is a kind of a Hail Mary take as it may just ruin balancing entirely, but uh, I have no idea. Bungie might have some black magic way of making it so that it doesn't ruin the game, so we'll have to see what happens when it happens. Um, it's literally not clickbait, it's, liter it's in text, like I'm not joking, Divinity was nerfed. Let's fucking go! <clears throat> okay. So Divinity was a bit of a footnote and you could tell they were really scared to say it because it's hidden in tiny little text at the bottom of the page. They really did not want to say it, see the backlash. Divinity's debuff has been, or will be, reduced from 30 to 15%, which is exactly what should have happened in the first place. Now things like Tether and Weakened Nades are way more effective and using Divinity will actively hinder your damage if you choose to use it. This is good, this is great. Today's a good day, and for all of those dumbasses on Twitter saying that salt is the reason why this shit happened, nope, they've been literally looking at it for years and they've been trying to figure out a way to make sure it doesn't break the game when they nerf it, so shut up. Similar to how they looked at stasis weapons and beyond light, Bungie will be changing their gaze to kinetic weapons in the near future to see just in some ways how they can be improved, how they can make them more powerful or just feel better to use. They didn't say anything super crazy, but I imagine kinetic weapons will have some synergy with nondescript other stuff like Stasis does right now. But no information has been given, so we will just have to see later. Adept raid weapons, they fucking stink. We're going to be seeing some changes to them. As it stands, any crafted raid weapon is just flat out better than adept weapons. So they're not looking too good. And Bungie agrees, and they're going to be looking into ways to make adept raid weapons more powerful through whatever enhanced perks and the like. They haven't revealed anything definitive, but they say to keep an eye on it, and so I will. Anti champion exotics have been really nice. Uh, they're, they're really opening up a lot of your loadouts in things like GMs and Nightfalls. And since they were added, people were asking, hey, are we gonna get these to old guns like you did this time? And Bungie says no. They have no plans to retroactively add anti champion junk to old guns. Quote, the goal of recent additions was to address some obvious holes in the options available, and we're happy with how that worked out. We have no intentions of doing that stuff. That that ending part wasn't the quote, that was ad lib. But they're not planning on doing anything with older weapons. However, new weapons will continue the trend and have exotic anti-champion junk. So uh, have fun with that, I guess, when those come out. Raid weapon perks have been uh, pretty spicy recently. Like, I don't know, uh, Doom with Firefly, Dragonfly. So uh, yeah, they're pretty spicy. And there's some talk going around that raid weapons don't feel particularly unique anymore. And Bungie responds, Lamau, no. The new system for raid weapon identity is going to continue to be spicy perk combos with unique origin traits to give weapons some needed functionality. However, they are going to be adding some old raid perks slash origin traits to new weapons coming down the pipeline. And the, uh, the reused content crowd is gonna be up in arms about that one. It's literally free content. Stop complaining. Some Bungie myth busting. Does Outbreak Prime have persistence? No. Next up, we have another bombshell of information that will finally shut up Twitter. The port of content from D1 to D2 has been a heavily discussed topic, and uh, I'm not even going to try and explain it in my own words so I don't butcher it, so I'm just going to pull a quote. Quote, it is important to note that it's impossible to simply copy and paste Destiny 1 content into Destiny 2 because of engine changes and the significantly higher bar for quality on current generation hardware, any Destiny 1 content has to be rebuilt from scratch. They're basically the same development costs as brand new Destiny 2 weapons, and with some exceptions, we believe players significantly prefer new content over reprised content. Boom. The literally said in print. 
Now, for any brainlet on Twitter that says that porting content from D1 is so easy and that we should just have everything by now, and I, you could literally do it in five minutes while having a wank, you're, you're just wrong. I have been telling this to people for literally years, and now I have a primary source to shut these people up with. And there, there really is a lot more to the TWAB than this. These are just like the major cliff notes, and it's kind of hard to cover it all in a nice way. So I'll leave it linked in the description for you. But while you're down there, you should like click the subscribe button. It's like really cool. Uh, I make Destiny 2 stuff like every week, so that's also pretty cool. Anyways, that's all for me. Go watch my other videos. Goodbye.